Getting a letter from the IRS that you owe back taxes can be scary, but it doesn't have to be. Call Go Tax Resolution in Lafayette at 337-420-1040 today. We'll help stop garnishments, levies, and seizures immediately. With over 35 years of dealing directly with the IRS, our team of local professionals will help you pay the least amount possible. So if you owe back taxes to the IRS, you need help. Call the tax professionals at Go Tax Resolution in Lafayette at 337-420-1040. Your go-to tax relief. Looking to get some keys made, locks rekeyed, or a wide variety of new and used safe? Then look no further than the trusted choice of Alfred Safe and Lock. Conveniently located off of Government Street in Mid-City Baton Rouge, trust the expert locksmith at Alfred for all of your residential, commercial, and industrial lock and safe needs. Trusted by Baton Rouge and me, Roger Kadar, to protect what is yours since 1946. Some Baton Rouge business travelers travel out of Baton Rouge. Some don't. The ones that do know BTR is all about being closer, more convenient, with non-stops and short hops to anywhere their business takes them. They also know not flying BTR means more traffic, longer lines, and wasted time. So if it's about going from driveway to runway with a lot less highway, isn't it about time you flew BTR? Baton Rouge Metro Airport. It's about time. This week's edition of the Roger Kador Show, Clarence Bugs along with the coach at Scoreboards, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Baton Rouge's newest sports grill. <clears throat> coach, we start with the Jaguars this week, showing maybe more grit than they've shown all season in a come behind big homecoming win up on the bluff. This probably was one of the most important wins they've had this mm -hmm. year because you always want to win when people come back home yes. for homecoming. <laughs> yes. Well, we have highlights from the big homecoming win at A.W. Mumford Stadium, so we'll ask the guys to roll it as we continue our conversation. Ladarius Skelton, quarterback, was absolutely electric, Coach. If he could develop more consistency, he could truly be special, couldn't he? Well, that's what coaches try to get in all their players, consist consistencies. Mm -hmm. And that's the hardest thing, Clarence, for young people to, to find on a consistent basis, you know? Right. Of course, now, that's why the coaches make, make the big money in <laughs> trying, to, to trying to get them to do that. Are there any, quote, tricks to the trade <laughs> to develop that consistency? Well, repetition is the best way. If you could do repetition, repetition, that's the best way to get people to be consistent. Uh -huh. And then the kid have to believe in what you're trying to get him to do. I was just going to ask, how much does buying into the system play into consistency being developed over time? It's, it's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. You have to trust the coaches in what they're teaching you to help make you have some success. Obviously, that's a harder thing these days with the <laughs> difference in the generations. Oh, it's about me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the parents are coaching them from the stand. Now, right. it's a little harder in football because of the crowd noise and the distance. Right. But, boy, you know, they want to listen to them and not the coaches. On the other hand, Skelton was named the SWAC Offensive Player of the Week, while linebacker Calvin Lumpkins was named SWAC Defensive Player of the Week. Truly a team effort, wasn't it? It was, and that's good for those kids. Now they have something to build on as they have a, a weekend that's non-conference, right. and they can try to improve and get ready for the last stretch of the conference play. Speaking of this weekend and stepping out of conference, it's another relatively unknown school, Virginia Union at Lynchburg, coming to Mumford Stadium. And it's senior day on top of that. What would it mean to the team to send them out with the packed A.W. Mumford Stadium? Well, it's always good if you could, they could pack the stadium and the fans come out and show their their gratitude or gratitude for all the years those kids have given them and the wonderful job they've done on the field. You talk about the fact that this is a, a relatively unknown team, at least as far as the Jaguar Nation is concerned. Does that give you any pause to kind of worry a little bit maybe about this team? In athletics, there is always the fear of the un unknown. Mm -hmm. And when you don't know someone, you have a fear because you don't know what to expect. Right. Now, after that, we've got one of our most heated and hated rivals in all of the conference, Jackson State. 
How do you stop the team from overlooking this Virginia University at Lynchburg team in favor of the Blue Bengals of Jackson State? <laughs> Clarence, you ask me that question quite often. <laughs> and it's not easy, trust me, because kids are creatures of habit and they're young people, so they have a tendency to look yep. beyond what is right in front of them. Yeah. Of course, now, in this particular instance, the Jaguars still control their own destiny. So conventional wisdom would say you shouldn't have to worry a whole lot about focus because there's still so much to be gained. Oh, I agree with you, but you just never know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to be gained, but that's all. In order to gain it, you have space in between. Right. And the way you manage the space in between there mm -hmm. is the key. When we come back, we'll have a special look at an event that happened here in the capital city recently, and it doesn't involve basketball, and it doesn't involve football. We'll tell you about it in segment two of the Roger Cador Show. Stay with us. out of the chaos. Hi folks, Clarence Bugs here. Coach Roger Kador would take the time to tell you how to catch our brand new show, The Roger Kador Show, but as you can see, he's kind of busy right now out at scoreboards. Baton Rouge's newest sports grill with food that is absolutely amazing. Catch the show, 8 o'clock Tuesday nights, 6.30 p.m. on Wednesdays and on Pelican Television's YouTube channel as well. You want to come out and have a great time. It's awesome, isn't it, Coach? Mm-hmm. Told you. <laughs> hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, Take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Welcome back to segment two of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show. Coach, there was uh, something in town recently that I know is near and dear to your heart. Focusing on baseball, the National College Baseball Hall of Fame in Baton Rouge for the weekend of champions recently. What was it like to be a part of that? It's an interesting thing, Clarence. Uh, I'm one of the voting members mm -hmm. of the Coaches Hall of Fame. And the fact that it's been in Lubbock, Texas, right. and they're trying to move it because of lack of support. Mm -hmm. And then they came to Baton Rouge and they had over 600 people in the audience. Right. It was just a great weekend with so many of the politicians coming out and the uh, community leaders to make it well worth it. Well, let's take a look at the festivities and the activities that took place regarding the weekend of champions and the National College Baseball Hall of Fame right here in the capital city. excited here in Baton Rouge to have the College Baseball Hall of Fame coming this weekend. You know, I don't have to tell you that Baton Rouge loves baseball. We love our sports, but we really love baseball. You know, I tell everybody there's something in the soil in Louisiana that grows so much talent in the sports arena, uh, and it's obvious here tonight. What an opportunity to host it here where people have a love for the game, a love for the teams, and a love for the sport like nowhere else in the world. It's so special over here, and that's the way we're all striving for it to continue because college baseball is a great commodity, and it teaches so many principles to so many different people. When we get a chance to open our doors to the world and welcome people here, uh, they leave with a special feeling.
I'm having a great time seeing people that I haven't seen in a long time. I'm just enjoying every minute of it. It's going to be a, a, a night that I'll always remember because it's something that every coach strives to do is to get recognized like this and be over here and see my buddy Skip Burtman. It doesn't get any better than this. The College Baseball Hall of Fame is special to me personally and to our family, obviously, because my father, Demi Maneri, the longtime coach at Miami-Dade North Community College, was inducted into the College Baseball Hall of Fame. There's no other city in America that loves college baseball like Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now, I know the College World Series is in Omaha, and I know that the SEC tournament in Hoover are wonderful places as well, but day in and day out, for 365 days a year, the people in Baton Rouge just love college baseball. For me, it was uh, a learning situation. I had always had success uh, at the different levels coming up, but uh, of course now it's a different ball game. And of course you're going to school uh, to get your education. That was first and foremost instilled in me by my grandmother. Uh, but I did get the opportunity to play college baseball and it put me in a position uh, to get drafted, uh, to pursue a childhood dream, which was one day to play professionally. And uh, the rest was history. And when I look back at it all, none of it would have happened if I hadn't got that college experience. The players are the game, even though we have legendary coaches uh, throughout, but the game is all about the players, and to see these players be celebrated with a Hall of Fame, much like the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, is what college baseball really needed. We have love and passion for everything, food, music, uh, but we have a love and passion for sports, especially college baseball. More people go from Louisiana to the Omaha World Series every year, uh, even if LSU's not in it. But we have some of the best fans in the world. We want to roll out the red carpet for everyone this weekend, and we want people to know we love our baseball, and we love the fact that the Hall of Fame is here with us this weekend. Very well done package, and we will keep our fingers crossed in that regard. When we come back for segment three of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show, I'm going to introduce you to a gentleman that has a lot to do with a whole lot of sports all over the capital city. And amazingly, some of you may, have, may not have any idea who this guy is. Stick around. You'll want to meet him next on segment three of the Roger Cador Show. Stay close. Looking to get some keys made, luxury keyed, or a wide variety of new and used safe? Then look no further than the trusted choice of Alfred Safe and Lock. Conveniently located off of Government Street in Mid City, Baton Rouge. Trust the expert locksmith at Alfred for all of your residential, commercial, and industrial lock and safe needs. Trusted by Baton Rouge and me, Roger Kadar, to protect what is yours since 1946. out of the chaos. Getting a letter from the IRS that you owe back taxes can be scary, but it doesn't have to be. Call Go Tax Resolution in Mandeville at 985-722-1040 today. We'll help stop garnishments, levies, and seizures immediately. With over 35 years of dealing directly with the IRS, our team of local professionals will help you pay the least amount possible. So if you owe back taxes to the IRS, you need help. Call the tax professionals at Go Tax Resolution in Mandeville at 985-722-1040. Your go-to tax relief.
Welcome back to segment three of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show. You know, Coach, I don't know if we truly have an appreciation, a sincere appreciation for the gym that we have here in Baton Rouge. Our Recreation and Parks Commission, Breck, is nationally recognized. And quite frankly, that probably has a lot to do with the caliber of some of the athletes that we turn out here in the Baton Rouge area. I, I agree. You know, if kids have parks to play in, mm -hmm. they usually get better. Yeah. You, you're not going to find athletes in the house playing video games. <laughs> They've got to be outdoors. That's right. Running and throwing and hitting and all of that. Yeah. Well, recently, Carolyn McKnight retired to spend more time with her family right next door in the great Lone Star State. But Corey Wilson has stepped up and picked up the mantle and is running full bore with it, keeping our Recreation and Parks Commission the nationally recognized agency that it is. Our special correspondent, Aaron Fulbright, introduces us to Corey Wilson. Take it away, Aaron. Hi, I'm Erin Fulbright with the Roger Kadar Show, and I'm here with Breck Superintendent Corey Wilson, who's going to talk to us a little bit about Breck and what's new coming on uh, with the system and what Brecking Out is all about. So thank you for coming, Corey, and speaking with us. Thank you for having me. So you're the sixth superintendent in the 72 years history of Breck. Um, when you came on, you were already working with Breck, but when you came on as superintendent, what was one thing that you was a prior variety for you um, coming in or you were looking forward to uh, tackling? Yeah, well, we were just on the heels of a lot of discussion regarding the location of the zoo. Um, that discussion was very polarizing, and so we had people on different ends, ends of the spectrums. And so my biggest priority was um, just reestablishing some of those relationships that we had with uh, elected officials and community uh, members, community leaders. And so uh, the number one thing I talked about during my interview process, um, I had this 30, 60, 90 day plan and I talked about meeting as many elected officials as possible um, throughout East Baton Rouge Parish so that I can talk to them about you know, who I am and, and, and what my vision is and uh, to try and mend some of those relationships. So, so far so good. I've had well over 170 meetings. Um, and all of them have been very positive. So uh, that was the number one priority, just reestablishing those relationships. Speaking of the zoo, that was a big controversy yes. coming in, but what can we expect new happening with the zoo now, um, changes to Breck, uh, Greenwood Park and, and the zoo? Yeah, so now that the location issue has been settled, and that was settled uh, March of 2018, uh, all of the community is in agreement that we need uh, major improvements to the zoo. And so with that community's support, we did a master plan and working with the community to determine what they want to see at the zoo as well as in Greenwood Park. Uh, those plans were recently accepted and approved by our board in September of 2019. And so we're looking forward to moving forward. Um, the first phase we plan to start in January, I mean, in, in the summer of 2020, and that first phase will include a new uh, entry building for the zoo. The, the zoo's new entry will be located in the heart of the park now and be accessed off of uh, Scotland Avenue, Highway 19. Uh, we also are bringing new and exciting exhibits like a giraffe feeding exhibit, uh, underwater hippo viewing exhibit, uh, and several other exciting amenities. And we hope that those the first phase will be completed uh, by the end of 2021. So a lot of exciting things coming to the zoo as well as Greenwood Park. You know, at the park, we're going to be uh, expanding on the playground there. We have a great playground, but we're going to be making an adventure playground and having kids running, you know, through the canopy walks and the trees and all sorts of things like that. More water features. Um, and the list goes on and on and on. We have all this information is located on our website. So if anyone wants to see all the great things that are coming, they certainly can find it there. Awesome. Well, thank you for speaking with us. And we encourage you all to break out um, and get and enjoy the uh, parks around Baton Rouge. Back to you, Coach and, and uh, Clarence. been a while since Aaron has been on the show directly with us, so I guess she forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be okay, Aaron. <laughs> but make it a point. Get out and, and take part in what is arguably a gem of the entire southern, if not south, region of the United States, our very own Breck. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about the game of the decade. 
who knows? This may be the game of, well, I don't want to say all time, but you understand what I'm talking about. LSU and Alabama when we come back to wrap up this week's edition of the Roger Kador Show. Stay close. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tool, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep. Some Baton Rouge business travelers travel out of Baton Rouge. Some don't. The ones that do know BTR is all about being closer, more convenient, with non-stops and short hops to anywhere their business takes them. They also know not flying BTR means more traffic, longer lines, and wasted time. So if it's about going from driveway to runway with a lot less highway, isn't it about time you flew BTR? Baton Rouge Metro Airport. It's about time. Hi folks, Clarence Bugs here. Coach Roger Kador would take the time to tell you how to catch our brand new show, The Roger Kador Show, but as you can see, he's kind of busy right now out at scoreboards. Baton Rouge's newest sports grill with food that is absolutely amazing. Catch the show, 8 o'clock Tuesday nights, 6.30 p.m. on Wednesdays and on Pelican Television's YouTube channel as well. You want to come out and have a great time. It's awesome, isn't it, Coach? Mm-hmm. Told you. Welcome back for the closing segment of this week's edition of the Roger Kador Show. Coach, LSU, Alabama. This game pitting number one against number two. It doesn't get any better than this, Coach. No, I remember back in 1966 when Michigan State played Notre Dame, uh -huh. number one and number two. Yeah. And that was a great game. They ended up being 10-10 at the time. So you don't get this very often, this late in the year, mm -hmm. where the number one team and number two team play. But what makes this unique, they're both in the same conference, in the same division. In the same division, yeah. You, you talk about number one versus number two. This is going to be the first regular season one versus two matchup since the same two teams met in 2011. Wow. Coincidence or is this the result of the arms race between LSU and Alabama in football? It could be coincidental, but I think it's the arm race mm -hmm. where they're fighting for the best players. Yep. And LSU is catching up. And they are to the point now, offensively, mm -hmm. they're there. Yeah. We have to find out defensively, can they maintain Little Nicky and his team. <laughs> Let's talk offense. This game will pit arguably the two best quarterbacks in college football. And you got to think Joe Burrow, the fiery competitor that he is, he relishes this opportunity, Coach. He should. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you think about it, he's not going to get to do this much again at the collegiate level. Right. And this is the one chance he can prove that he, he belongs. This really, for a lot of players, you want to prove that you belong. Mm -hmm. And of course, going into a place like Tuscaloosa, you need a guy with the mental toughness, the likes of a Joe Burrow. I always used to tell my players, if you're ever going to make a name for yourself, you got to go into the house and beat the toughest guy. Mm -hmm. Punch him in the mouth <laughs> and yep. take away his pride. And I think when Coach Ogeron talked to his players, I think he's going to tell them about how much pride will play into this thing. Mm -hmm. And this is the one chance they've been waiting for. This is the chance you've been waiting for, a chance of a lifetime. Now, just for the record, Joe, we don't want you to punch, literally <laughs> punch anybody <laughs> in the mouth. Let your game uh, do your talking for you. Uh, the, the, the passing game, Coach, is one thing. But this is still LSU Alabama. So you got to be able to run the football, right? Well, that's the key to the game. Mm -hmm. In order to have that passing game work, you have to have a balanced attack. Yeah. Run pass because mm -hmm. it keeps the defense from stacking up the, the line keeps on your run. Honest. Yeah. So you don't want them where they're putting eight men in the box. You have to make them play you honestly. Speaking of the rushing attack, Clyde Edwards Elair probably could have gone anywhere he wanted to, but he chose to stay in Baton Rouge. How bad do you think Clyde 
Edwards Elair wants this win, coach. Well, he won him as bad as everybody else who will be playing this game mm -hmm. on the field. Mm -hmm. I got to think everybody who's out there want to win bad. Yeah. Even though Alabama is used to winning, right. they want to keep winning. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty about collegiate athletics. Yeah. It was uh, announced this week on the defensive side of the ball that LSU linebacker Michael Divinity uh, has left the team to, quote, focus on a personal matter. Your heart has to go out to a guy that ends up leaving the team the week of arguably the biggest game of your entire career. Well, personal matter, is it because he's not starting or if it's really a personal matter? Right. With the kids today, you know, it's so difficult to gauge what is really going on. Mm -hmm. If it's a personal matter, I have no problem with it. Right. If it's because he lost his starting position and he created a personal matter, then right. I have something else to deal with. it. But when you look at the way athletes are today, expect anything. Yeah, it is a different day. Despite all of the hoopla surrounding this game, all that's going to be printed, all that's going to be said, everything on social media, this all comes down to the basics still, does it not? Running, catching, blocking, and tackling, and who can do it the best. That's right, and do it consistently. Mm -hmm. Make big plays, stay remembered to do your job. It's so important that they do their job. Remember, don't worry about the next guy. Right. Just do what you've been working on for two weeks mm -hmm. because you have that game plan for two weeks right. to try and perfect it. Uh -huh. Make sure you, you know what to expect. Make sure you read your keys and go out there and do a good job. Now, let's be honest. You mentioned just now two weeks to prepare. That's two weeks of hype. That's two weeks of hoopla. That's two weeks of conjecture. Everything that goes along with that. A game of this magnitude how do you stop the team from getting swept up into all of that? Well, I think they're both good enough where they shouldn't be swept up in mm -hmm. it. So, you know, we'll just see what happens. I just think that the coaches who help them maintain their focus and emotion are going to be the team that's going to be able to enjoy the success. It was no secret. A lot of folks wondered if Coach O was the guy for the job. You got to get the idea he relishes a matchup like this. He really does. And the key is this is the one chance you get to to make a name for yourself. It's yeah. just like the players. From a coach's standpoint, mm -hmm. you gotta go in there and beat them. Well, we will be here in the aftermath, and uh, there's a whole lot of Tiger fans feeling pretty good about this one. Let's just hope that our young men live up to all the hype. On behalf of the coach and the crew, I'm Clarence Bugs. We'll see you next week with another edition of the Roger Kador Show. We'll see you then.